In today's video, we'll be covering the differences between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. Now, if you're trying to build your first website, there's no doubt that you have heard of WordPress. This is the most widely used software for people to build websites. And yeah, at a glance, wordpress.com may seem pretty similar to wordpress.org, but they are quite different. They're two very different platforms. So yeah, in this video, we'll talk about what those differences are, what the pros and cons of each one is. We'll compare the two in terms of different categories. And of course, we'll try to determine which one is right for you. So the first thing I'll say is that wordpress.org, this is the software that most people are referring to when they talk about using WordPress to build their website. And then wordpress.com, this is actually just a hosting service. It's made by the company Automatic, which was founded by the co-founder of WordPress. And yeah, since it is the same name, a lot of beginners, they will confuse these two. Now there is a reason why wordpress.org is the most popular website builder out there. It allows you to make a very customized website with tons and tons of access to different plugins and features. Okay, let's dive into how these two services are completely different when it comes to various categories. So with wordpress.org, it's not a hosting service. It's just a software for building your website. So if you use wordpress.org, you still will need to find a website hosting service to actually run your website on. This includes providers such as Hostinger, SiteGround, wordpress.com is even a hosting service, and there are many, many other companies that do hosting. wordpress.com is a hosting service itself. So basically when you sign up, your website is hosted on the wordpress.com Com servers. Now let's talk about customizability and functionality. Like I said earlier, WordPress.org gives you access to hundreds of thousands of different plugins. You can use things such as Elementor to build your website. They have SEO tools, they have staging tools. Basically a good majority of the websites you are probably visiting on a day-to-day -day basis are made with WordPress.org. There's also thousands and thousands of different themes you guys can choose from for the design of your website. And so yeah, if you have some time to learn about how to actually use WordPress.org, the type of website you can make is absolutely insane. It's super, super advanced. Now with WordPress.com, the customizability is is definitely more limited. So especially if you are on their free plan, there's gonna be a lot of things that you can't do with wordpress.com that you can do with wordpress.org. However, I will say that wordpress.com is a bit more easy to get started with. So that certainly is a plus. Next, let's talk about cost. So for wordpress.org, this is a free website building software, but you will have to pay a hosting service to actually host your website. At my first website, there are a ton of different hosting services that we recommend. So if you guys go to the description down below, we'll have some exclusive discounts for you guys. So for example, Hostinger, this is one of our favorites. You can build up to a hundred different websites for under $3 per month. And if you use our free website setup service, we'll actually help you set up your website for free when you use our links. So you guys can learn more about that in the description down below. WordPress.com does have a free plan, but they do have a bunch of paid plans as well. So if you take a look at their plans, they have the free one, which is pretty limited, but they also have personal, premium, business, commerce, and enterprise plans. These are the costs per month if you choose to be billed annually. And if you choose to pay monthly, it's gonna go up by a good amount. And we have the personal plan starting at $9. But yeah, in my opinion, there are better website hosting services out there like Hostinger. They're a lot more affordable. They have way more features. So I actually don't recommend going with wordpress.com. For most people, Hostinger is gonna be a much better deal. They have the premium business and cloud startup plans. For most people, the premium and the business are gonna be perfect. If you want increased performance, the business will be better. And yeah, all these plans, they come with free domains, free emails, the ability to make a hundred different websites, which is just crazy. And they are optimized for WordPress. However, you can choose to build a website using WordPress, or you can actually choose to build a website just using the hosting your website builder, which in my opinion makes it a lot easier. So now let's talk about the differences between wordpress.org and wordpress.com in terms of maintenance. With wordpress.org, you are gonna be responsible for maintaining your plugins, your themes, all those things. You also may need to back up your site regularly. With wordpress.com, since this is a hosting service, they're going to do all these things for you. In terms of domains, with wordpress.org, yes, you can have your own custom domain that is actually included for free with most of the hosting your plans. And for wordpress.com, if you do use the free plan, it's not going to have your own custom domain. It's going to be something like yourwebsite.wordpress.com, which is of course not optimal, but you can absolutely have custom domains if you get one of their paid plans. Overall, if you guys click on this video, you were probably searching for wordpress.org. This is the actual WordPress software that you guys probably want to build your website with. And so this is the one I recommend going with. You will of course need a hosting service. But for that, we recommend Hostinger. We'll have an exclusive link down below with a discount for you guys. And if you guys use that link, 
link, you can actually use our free website setup service where we will set up your website for you completely free. So yeah, I know this video was about comparing wordpress.org and wordpress.com, but comparing these two things is like comparing apples with oranges. They're completely different. One's an actual software that you guys are probably searching for, and the other is just a website hosting service. So if you guys do wanna learn how to make your website using wordpress.org, we have a ton of tutorials on this YouTube channel. We have our website. And yeah, our whole goal is to teach you guys how to make your first website. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. If you want free tutorials on how to build your website, make sure to stay up to date with our channel because we post a ton of free tutorials and guides. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.